Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to detect contours from an image. So what is a contour actually? Um, let's see this picture. So in this picture, we see a coin and we see a sticker. So a contour is actually a closed curve. How many closed curves do you see in this picture? This entire coin, the outer circle, this is a closed curve. So that's why this is a contour. Even the sticker, the edges of the sticker, if you link them together, this is one edge, this is the right edge, left edge and the bottom edge. If you consider all the edges linked together, then the entire thing is a contour. So contours can be very useful in detecting objects in an image. I will show you how to detect the contours using OpenCV now. So to detect the contour first, you need to send a thresholded image to the find contours function. So I've already copied the part to the thresholding. So this threshold variable will be containing the, the thresholded image of our contours um, picture that we have read. So let us see what this picture looks like. Clear. So how many contours do you think that you will find? Just a pink sticker. So there should be one contour, right? So let's see. Okay. So after the thresholding is performed, you get the edge, contours, hierarchy equal to cv2 dot find contours. I pass it the thresholded image, cv2 dot retter tree, or you can have retter list doesn't really make a difference as of now that is cv2 dot um, chain approx none that is it okay so let's see how many contours are returned the cv2 dot find contours function actually returns a tuple of three variables the first one is the image uh, that we had passed it, passed to it. The second one is the contours that have been detected from the image. And the third one is a variable that contains the hierarchy of the contours that have been detected. As of now, you wouldn't need to use these variables. Just replace them by underscores. So let us see the length of the contours variable to actually determine how many contours has been detected. So print length of contours. Just number of contours detected percentage D percentage. Let's check this out. See, what you get is 199. So, is there a problem with the function? Not really. What happened was, there are a lot of noise pixels in this image, which are not visible to our eye. But the find contours function is very accurate and it will also account for the tiny dots and noises in this function as well. When we draw the contours, we will be able to see that it will also detect these noises. So if you want a very, very good detection of contours, then you can actually perform some pre-processing steps. One of them is to first blur the input image before sending it for finding the contours. So for blurring, you can use a Gaussian blur, median blur, average blur, and you can always use a kernel of a very big size, like 
15 cross 15 or 3 cro uh, not 3 cross 3 because that's really small it wouldn't eliminate all the noise so just to remove the dependence on blurring I'll show you one function which does the job really well and can be used along with contour detection okay so image is equal to let's say gray or let's let's call it blurred blurred is equal to cb2 dot pyr mean shift filtering pass it the original image and give it some values right now you don't need to know the inner working of this function remember if you do not get the desired value of your contours just play around with these values try to keep them odd numbers and try to keep the values large if it doesn't work for you and there are actually two contours in an image but you are detecting is at 7 or 8 or even 50 just try to increase these numbers and check it out for yourself the inner working of this function is really complicated you do not need to know about this right now just think of it as a filter which actually blurs things out in an image that is it so it removes all the noise basically okay so let's change this image and pass it the blurred variable okay now let's see how many contours it has found out now it's finding out three contours how come the number of contours is three it should be one right okay let's mess up with these let's mess more with these values let's make this 31 let's make this 91 see now I see the number of contours detected is two wait am I doing any trial and error method out here you're here to learn something not play around with values so what essentially is happening let us see to debug this let us draw the number of contours that have been detected let us draw the contours and see for ourselves how they look like okay so cb2 dot draw contours is the function that you will use to draw the borders around the contours that have been detected you pass it the original image around which you would want to draw the contours um, you pass it the contours variable that ha that contains all the contours that have been detected the next parameter I use minus one why minus one signifies that I want to actually draw out all the contours that have been detected if I just put zero or one it will actually detect the first contour that has been the, it will actually draw the first contour or the zeroth contour so I want all the contours to be drawn so for that I just use a default value of minus one now I need to specify a tuple which actually defines the color I will be using to draw the contour for that I'll be using a red color so 0 0 and 2 55 because 0 for B which is blue G is 0 and the red channel I put it to 255 and this is the thickness of the contour let's put it to 6 okay let's see ah so you see what really happened you see you wanted to draw the contour you got the contour you got the contour around this pink sticker in red color but you also detected the edge boundaries of the image okay so let us rectify this a bit more so that we get just this contour I just told you a bit earlier that if I just change this to a desired value I can actually eliminate uh, the rest of the contours and only highlight the specific contour I'm looking at okay let's see if this works
So essentially the bordering of the image this is contour number one and contour number zero is the contour around the pink color sticker. Okay so this, this was a tiresome process and you had to do a lot of manual calculations to kind of figure out and detect the region of interest so you had to manipulate these uh, 0 and 1 values the contour values and also you had to manipulate the pyramid shift filtering values in the next video I will show you how to actually detect the contours you are interested in precisely by using some of the properties of the contours till then keep practicing um, and if you have any problems related to contours please post your comments in the discussion forum I will try my best to answer them do not skip the next video as that is really important and it will show you how to perform debugging steps and how to take manual measures to get a good result do not rely on functions you need to use your brain as well okay so see you in the next video